So Amazon dropped season two of them on Thursday and we kind of powered through it pretty quick. We don't usually watch shows this fast. Uh, we'd love to. Mm -hmm. It's just getting the time. And I watched season one. Kaylee did not. And I had told her that season one was not going to be relevant because this is a new story, much like American Horror Story. They do an anthology season where every season you get a new story. And while that is mostly true, I will now, having seen season two, tell you that if you have not seen season one, you should. Mm. I'm not going to tell you why. I'm just going to say that it would benefit to watch season one first. Not huge. You just won't get a couple things. Yeah. Um, which I was like, oh, I guess season one is relevant, but pretty mildly honestly mm -hmm. like i don't think you're gonna be lost there's something that happens at the end that you would just kind of be like what the hell yeah you know and and there would be like a, a revelation that happens that if i wasn't there to say it to kaylee she would, would have probably been it. like huh uh, like it wouldn't you wouldn't think anything of it yeah yeah right you would just knowing the connection so this is this is why season two definitely works without season one but it works better with season one mm -hmm. so for those of you wondering do i need to see season one since this is a different story the answer is i say yes but not absolutely yes you know yeah you can yeah. watch season two you just should watch season one first and season one is is excellent as is season two uh, season two is very, very good and is worth your time for sure. Okay, mm -hmm. so now getting in to the story of season two, we follow a woman who is a black detective and we are in 1991, very close to the Rodney King incident and racial tensions are high within the city of Los Angeles and the police force. She, as I said, is a black woman, so she is kind of seen as a traitor to the uh, black community when mm -hmm. she comes around. Um, and this adds a lot of tension to the show. Yeah. And she's investigating this murder that takes place. And when we see the uh, crime scene, oh boy, is it eerie. Um this is definitely one of the better uh, aftermath death mm. shows I've seen in a little while. While the while it does kind of get repetitive, it never gets old. For some reason, even though the deaths all kind of look similar, they're always very off-putting and unsettling. And it is relevant to the story yeah. Uh, in the end. So I respected it even more when it's, it was done, but the very first time you see the very first dead body, it is striking. It's really striking. It's yeah. very scary. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's really just her and her family. Her mom is played by Pam Greer, uh, which I haven't seen her in a little while, so it's cool to see her. Um, her son, who I don't know, uh, as an actor, I feel like I have seen him before mm -hmm. in something, but I, I can't place it. But uh, and and the the main character here, she is from season one. She plays the mom uh, once again from season one. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I think the the setting because this show definitely deals heavily with race. Um, that is kind of the main focal point of the horror. In the first season, it deals with the 1950s, and it deals with um, a family moving to Compton, which was a white neighborhood at that point, and no one wants them there, um, which adds to that uh, tension of n you know not being wanted to this house that you live that you live in. Um, and within this one, you know, her job she's looked at as a race trader 
um, and that adds to just kind of her overall mental state because she can't go anywhere, mm -hmm. do anything. And of course this then uh, affects her family as well because uh, as people find out what's going on, uh, they have to suffer the consequences as well. The scary stuff in here is fantastic and very um, memorable. And the last thing I'll say is the performance from our other main character, who's an actor, is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And when he's scary, and he's got a mask on, that's all I'm gonna say, that's some of the most horrifying imagery I've seen in a while. And it's not even like the full, um, how do I say this without giving spoilers? There's another look he has, mm -hmm. which is also good and is memorable, but that's more exaggerated as to where with this one, the first time you see him kind of take a dark angle, that imagery is simplistic, but terrifying. Yeah. I mean, having not seen season one, I definitely thought that this was like a fantastic show. Yeah. I'm very curious about the first season, but as a standalone story, like I, I definitely didn't have any problem following this. Yeah. Um, and I thought that it was really scary. There was a lot that was terrifying in it. There's there's some supernatural stuff that's going on, which you had said was similar to season one, mm. um, which I found all of that stuff to be really terrifying. But then there's also, like you just said, some racism that's, you know, real world horror that is awful in this. And there's... Uh, our main character is a detective and so the police force around her there's definitely some stuff going on with the different police officers and it was really infuriating to watch and just like it, it just made me angry but also scared for her because like she's in such the such a vulnerable position as a black woman and it's it's just it was awful. I thought that everyone's performance was really good, honestly. Everyone was fantastic. There's a lot of drama with the family that I thought was compelling. You know, I mean, there's obviously her relationship with her son and her mom is kind of like the main relationships that we follow. But I thought that they were like, they felt very real yeah. and authentic. And the drama that was happening with them was also relevant to the story and like what she's going through. And I just think everything tied really well together, even like there's just a lot of connections that are made and they tie them up at the end. And all of that made sense to me. It seemed very, like it was all really smart and just involved with the overall plot, which I appreciated. I would have probably liked to have seen a little bit more connective tissue having this be a television series. I'm not a hundred percent satisfied with some plot elements i feel like a few things were left a little underdeveloped not a crazy amount and nothing where i left it going uh like meh nothing like that i am very high on this season i i very much enjoyed all of it i just think that there's certain aspects of the show one of the racist cops and his buddies and kind of her exploration of that and what it all ends up being for this uh, felt a little rushed. Um, there's also um, a connection that she has deeper to this story um, with another character that feels mostly fleshed out. I just feel like if we could have seen a little bit more backstory with that, it could have had a bigger emotional impact. Uh, but it still has one, right? So I don't think anything misses its mark or anything that were, you know, so underdeveloped that I feel disappointed. It just felt like with it being an eight episode show that maybe you could have got a little bit more out of certain characters and certain plot points. But 
you're talking about like it landed at a 90% on most of these things and I was just feeling like you could have gotten a little more out of them. But that could just be nitpicky. That could just be me asking for more. I, I don't feel like anything is super underdeveloped. The performance from our main villain, yeah. if you will, is going to be a standout for the year. Yeah. I think that he is so good at this dual role that he plays here and it's super tragic mm -hmm. you know and that's really the horror of all of this is the tragedy yeah and the revelations that are made and the oh shit like that's horrible especially because it's like you know how trauma affects like the whole community like when you know without giving any spoilers but like with you can if you can abuse one person and it will have a ripple effect on like the the neighborhood and everyone around them and Absolutely. i think that that's definitely like the theme of this season you can't just do stuff like this and it have no effect yeah right your actions have consequences and those consequences don't always unfortunately just come back to you karma as people would say spreads further than just the abuser so if you enjoyed season one uh this is a huge recommendation honestly i knew they had announced season two was happening but i kind of felt like this came out of nowhere um i feel like we got a announcement of it and maybe even a trailer like a month ago or something and i was like oh we're doing this cool very exciting um and much like last season uh ty west director of x pearl and the upcoming maxine as well as plenty of other horror movies i've covered here on the channel including house of the devil sacrament innkeepers the list goes on um he directed the finale mm -hmm. of both seasons um which should be uh, very exciting for some of you who, who like his work. His direction here is very strong. Big Ty West fan, so it's very cool to see Ty West included in this. And I think this is a really, really good show that is far superior to what American Horror Story is putting out right now. American Horror Story gets so much attention, and this doesn't. And Channel Zero, another far superior show to American Horror Story, another anthology per season, contained story per season show, uh, my very favorite ever. It just bums me out that these shows don't get more attention. So anyways, that's it. This show's awesome. It is. Uh, definitely check it out. It is currently on Prime. They drop every episode at once, so you got nothing to wait for. Definitely let us know. I hope this gets renewed for season three. Me too. Uh, the more of you who watch it, the more likely that is to happen. No one talks about this show. Yeah. I mean, did you hear about season one much? I didn't. I watched it right when it came out by myself, and I thought it was great, and I was telling people, I reviewed it on here, and I was telling people, gotta watch it. No one watched it. Maybe a few of you will be like, I watched it, but other than that, no one watched it, and no one's gonna watch this one. Except for you guys, right? Right? You should watch it. You should. All right, guys, let us know, and we'll see you in the comments. All right, guys, bye. Bye.